Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. During the 1971 Indo-Pakistani War, both air forces put a lot of effort into counter-air operations, that is, they tried to prevent the other side from using their aerial assets by attacking their airfields. Pakistani campaign was described in detail in another video on this channel. Click on the recommendation link if you missed it. Today, we will focus on one specific attack performed by Indian Air Force Hawker Hunters from No. 20 Squadron. Murid Air Base was one of Pakistani forward bases, and as such, it was rather vulnerable to attacks from low-flying raiders. No. 15 Squadron with F-86F Sabres was deployed with the purpose of defense and performing strikes against Indian air bases and ground troops. Murid Air Base could be reached by enemy strike aircraft from northeasterly direction by using Parmandal range as a cover. That's why Sabres from No. 15 Squadron flew constant combat air patrols. They had some success, for example on 4 December when they managed to shoot down one Indian hunter returning home after the attack. But on that same day, hunters from 20 squadrons still managed to destroy one F-86 and damage another by strafing. The attack was led by squadron leader Alban Antony de Rosario, with flying officer Balasubramaniam as his wingman. But the worst was yet to come for Pakistan. Four days later, on 8 December 1971, four hunters, again from No. 20 Squadron, were on their way to attack Murid Air Base. The flight was led by squadron leader Ravinder Nath Bharadwaj. Other Indian pilots were Flying Officer Hebel, Flying Officer Karambaya and Flight Lieutenant Deoskar. The Indian flight caught the Pakistanis off guard. Several F-86 Sabres and some transport airplanes were out in the open. Numbers 1 and 2 proceeded with the attack, while 3 and 4 were told to follow a minute and a half later. The flight leader Bharadwaj reported hitting a large transport aircraft. Despite heavy anti-aircraft defense, numbers 3 and 4 continued. Flying officer Karambaya spotted what he believed to be a MiG-19 and attacked it with his cannons. His target, actually a saber, caught fire. But the attacking hunter was hit by ground fire, and Karambaya thought he would have to eject. Just before pulling the handle, he realized he didn't want to become a prisoner of war, and decided instead to try to fly back to his base. He eventually succeeded. Flight Lieutenant Deoskar saw another saber and strafed it with similar effect. 
what the Indian pilots didn't know at the time was that their attack was in fact the most successful counter airstrike in the history of Indian Air Force. The two sabers they damaged caught fire and detonations caused it to spread to three more sabers parked nearby, fueled and armed. All five were destroyed, along with many spare drop tanks. The official Indian history of the 1971 war makes no claim of Sabre's destruction. The pilots only reported hitting a transport aircraft, two MiG-19s and some vehicles. The extent of Indian success first came out in a 1988 book published by Pakistani Air Force called The Story of Pakistan Air Force, A Saga of Courage and Honor. It was confirmed by the famous Pakistani historian and former Air Commodore Kaiser Tufail in his books. He gives stale numbers of the destroyed sabers and states that 26% of Pakistani losses could have been avoided with better dispersal. Squadron leader Bharadwaj and flying officer Karambaya would fly again and in one mission they encountered Pakistani sabers in the air. The story was covered in a previous video on the channel, be sure to watch it if you missed it. Don't forget to press the like button if you liked the video. Join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal because viewer support is the only way for this channel to stay in business. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.